Hey guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Louis. I'm going to be doing a reading for June for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Okay, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, please check the description box below. All the information you will find there. Okay, let's go ahead and start your reading, Scorpio. All right, let me go ahead and pull some oracles really quick. See what's going on in your current energy. Thank you guys for your guides of good love and light for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Clear and precise messages for my Scorpios. Let's go ahead and get started. What's going on, Spirit? What do you want Scorpios to know? Okay, kissing ass. Somebody could be kissing your ass. Something about flowers could be significant. Somebody could have sent you flowers. Okay, or you could be sending somebody, uh, somebody flowers. That could be significant. All right, you got here thief. Somebody here is trying to steal your ideas. Okay, rob, loss, theft, physical or emotional. All right, you see how this person has a gun here. All right, so be careful what you if you're like seeing somebody close to you or something like that. Somebody has a gun or has some sort of ill intent. Okay, not saying that they want to like shoot you or something, but at the same time, all right, there's some sort of like um uh somebody who's very conniving. Okay, so that's the energy that I'm picking up here. All right, they might have a gun. They could have just bought a gun or something like that. If you guys have a gun, make sure that you're keeping it safe. Okay, so that could be significant. You got somebody here dirt digging on you. Okay, so looking for dirt on you or vice versa, or you could be doing that to them. What else we got? You got here cyberbully. So somebody online, all right, somebody could be saying stuff about you online um, or something like that. Somebody you or you are being bullied online or they have suffered from it okay i don't know why they say it like that they are okay so or they are or like that could be your person or that could be you in other words all right what else we got we got here stalker because somebody's definitely watching what you got going on stalker with cyberbully you guys got to be careful okay i'm just getting capricorn energy could be somebody very obsessed okay with you Let's see what else we got for Scorpio. Marrying for money. Okay, so somebody could be marrying for money. Somebody could have offered you some money to get married. All right, something about paperwork. So be careful what you guys are doing. Um, somebody could have left you and married somebody for money, or they're marrying them because they're it's convenient for them. It's comfortable. Okay, so that's for someone. Fake smiles. Yeah, it's comfortable. So somebody is definitely with somebody for finances, for financial reasons. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy I'm picking up here. All right, you got here fake flexing. Somebody does not have money. So yeah, for example, for, for sure, somebody could be marrying somebody because the other person is wealthy or well off or something like that. So acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy, shows off. For someone here, I feel like somebody could have left you and went somewhere and the person that they went to was always fake flake fake uh, fake flexing tongue twisting confirmation all right drama starter somebody definitely is starting drama and it's falling right between the two cyberbully and stalker okay so this is definitely somebody who's into that kind of shit like stocks whatever you got going on could be watching you all right could be somebody that's close to you could be somebody that um Something about guns is, is significant, okay? Because you got this guy is like a fucking sniper. They're watching, okay? So somebody is definitely really closely watching you or doing some sort of drama, okay, online or saying something online about you online. That could be significant, all right? Um, let me pick some... Let me use this these cards really quick. All right, um... Angel guys, spirit guys of good living light. Four Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Clear and precise messages. What is this kissing ass? What's kissing ass here? <laughs> All right, you got here plays games. This person played a lot of games with you, or you played a lot of games with them. Okay, flip it, switch it. Okay, so this it could be the energy is fluid. Okay, it could be you. It could be another person. Right, but yeah, they're definitely playing a lot of games. Somebody could, um, 
Somebody could play video games a lot. Okay, so that could be significant. All right, what is this? Kissing ass with playing games. Unique. They find you as a person who's very unique. All right, for some of you, you guys could be playing an instrument. I'm just picking that up. Okay, and you're very unique at whatever it is that you do. Okay, there's no one in the world like you is what I just heard. So this person is like kind of like playing games. For some of you, this person just wants to get in there, like kiss your ass, literally, and that's why they're playing some sort of game. So be careful. What is this? Leo could be significant. You could be dealing with a Leo. Somebody's name could be Leo, right? And they're very charismatic. Yeah, so that's the kind of energy that I'm picking up here, player. Okay, so somebody could definitely be playing games. And they're very charming when they do it. So for some of you, you guys could be like, sometimes you believe this person, sometimes you don't. Okay, there's no trust. I don't know. If there's no trust, there is no us. All right, some of you could live by that model or something like that. All right, what's this marrying for money? Somebody could be Indian of Indian descent. Um, undecided. All right, for some of you, you guys got some sort of offer, but you're undecided. Or you guys are interested in someone, but you're still undecided. All right, it could be very comfortable to live with this person or something like that. That could be significant. Or vice versa, this person could be using you. What else we got? All right, could be you in this energy, Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio is the death card two so the death card signifies it talks about transformation so you guys could be going through some sort of transformation all right so if you didn't have money before now you do or if you don't if you do have money now you're kind of like in the bad part of it or kind of like ups and downs are coming in really quick for you what's this thief what's this with thief all right robbed all right somebody wants to take something from you yeah as a secret admirer okay so could be somebody that you think it is this the least is the last person you think it is for some of you be careful like hitting or getting hit on by someone okay so be careful who you're letting close to your car especially if you're out in the street or if you're in bad neighborhoods make sure your doors are locked fucking people are crazy right now <laughs> so secret admire what is this for some of you this person just wants to steal something from you for some of you, you guys are in this happy kind of like trustworthy energy. Okay, they're not trustworthy, by the way. This came out in the, in the reverse. They want to steal that from you. That's like almost like post-traumatic stress. That's like leaving you with some sort of like post-traumatic stress or something like that. All right, this person is not trustworthy. It came out in the reverse. Okay, they have fake smiles. They're fake flexing. They're fake. All right, so what's this fake smiles? Somebody could be a floor. Somebody could be a jeweler here. Somebody could wear a lot of jewelry. Some of you, I'm just picking up, they're married, but they're fake. It's, a, it's not happy. You, you could be in a relationship where you're not happy. Okay, so, or the person that you're with could be not happy. Somebody's not happy. Fake smiles. All right, so you show the world the different you. You're showing the world the different, maybe if you're in a relationship or something like that. What this is saying is like you're showing the world that you guys are good together. You don't like people knowing your shit, but somebody's definitely dirt digging. Okay. Yeah. You want a new start. Okay. Something new for some of you, you guys could have like returned back to somebody that you were with at some point. And now after dirt digging, all right, you're fake smiling because at the end of the day, it's almost like, yeah, you fucking put up with something like that. All right. This person acts rich, losses money. Okay. Kind of like acts fancy like i'm all that waiting the waiting period all right you could have been waiting on this person for a while but now after a while of being with this person now you're dirt digging you're realizing a couple of things about this person what's this dirt digging dirt digging with grieving all right and whatever it is that you found you could have just thrown it back and just kind of like moved on with your life, all right? That's for some of you, but whatever it is that you have found or whatever it is that this person has found, now they're grieving or you're grieving, okay? It's kind of like, damn, this just sucks. 
dirt digging with grieving. Somebody could have, you could have lost somebody recently. All right, my condolences. Sending you peace, love, and prosperity your way. All right, but yeah, grieving. What's this dirt digging with grieving? All right, financial burdens. All right, for some of you, you're realizing some of you could be in a relationship because of financial burdens. I'm not saying that you're using the person. Maybe there was love there at one point, but these cards, what they're saying is something a little different. If it's not you, that could be your person. You could flip it, switch it. All right, so um, it could be somebody that you were just dealing with. All right. All right, this is a uh, June reading, so take it how it resonates. All right, so what is this cyberbully physically fit? Okay, somebody could be see seeing that you're physically fit or something like that. Somebody could be like watching what you got going on at the gym okay so some of you could be going to the gym a lot and you have somebody that's like stalking you it's a secret admirer or something like that but that person is going to start some sort of drama with cyberbully cyberbully children childhood issues all right this person could act childish all right if they're going on to like social media to find out information on you that's childish all right so they have childhood issues for some of you Okay, what's cyberbully? For some of you, you need to pay attention to your children. Somebody um, could have a child that's being bullied in school or something like that. Cyberbully. Distracted. For some of you, this person is really distracted just thinking about you. Trying to kiss your ass, okay, after doing something. All right, somebody could be very distracted or you guys could be kind of distracted, just focused on somebody's social media or something like that. Um, you need to kind of like bring focus back into whatever it is that your purpose is. All right, what's drama starter? What is drama starter? You got ghost people. What is drama starter with ghost people? It could be somebody that ghosted you. For some of you, you could have ghosted this person and now they're like stalking you or you're or trying to start some sort of drama or something like that. No free time, the press seeks forgiveness. So this drama starter is trying to seek some sort of forgiveness for some some of you. You guys have no time for this shit. You guys are moving on. Okay, so depressed. They could be depressed and all over all over their feelings and their feels because of you. Give me one more for depressed here with the stalker. The stalker could be depressed because they're not getting what they want. Okay, that could be significant. Alright, for some of you, you guys are unpredictable. All right, this person could be unpredictable. For some of you, you guys out of the blue are getting depressed for some reason. Okay, it's because you have some sort of energy on top of you of a person who could be thinking of you a lot, okay? Give me one more. First Scorpio spirit. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. All right, it was 13.44 on the timer as I said that. You guys could be seeing those synchronicities. It's 4.44 right now. So you guys could be seeing a lot of fours. Okay, you got insecure. All right, somebody is very unpredictable and insecure. Okay, because you're inspired or you are very inspiring. You could be dealing with like a motivational speaker or something like that or somebody who does something to motivate people. All right, They're, they could be very inspiring or you could be. Okay, but there's somebody here that feels insecure. If you're the inspired one, if you're the one that inspires people, the person that you're dealing with could be insecure. If it's the other way around, flip it, switch it. Okay, you could be dealing with a Pisces, another uh, water sign like yourself. All right, let's see what we got for the current energy for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Spirit. What's going on in the current energy? And one. What's going on in the current energy for my Scorpies? Scorpios. Okay. So, current energy, spirit. 
Scorpio Summon Rising Radiance. Current energy. All right, you have the Queen of Wands. Aries Leo Sag. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sag. Okay, you guys are looking very good. You guys are going to the gym. Okay, with the Queen of Wands there, there, there could be somebody who has a black cat. All right, but this also talks about optimism. You're very fertile with ideas right now too. Okay, but you're putting them into action because you're very confident. All right, so back to what this was saying. Somebody is insecure. So this person, Aries Leo Sag, all right, is the confident one. Okay, but let's see. Queen of Wands is somebody who comes in um, very vivacious, kind of player, kind of a uh hoe. Okay, so so that could be your energy or in this moment on at this moment or that could be their energy. Okay, so somebody um is in that kind of energy. What's the blockages? I didn't mean to call you guys hoes, but <laughs> the Queen of Wands could be a hoe. Alright, so ace is an energy. Okay, so ace of pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so for some of you, you guys don't have money. Or you're having some sort of financial hardship. So you're in a relationship because of it. It keeps on saying that okay so a lost opportunity delays money loss instability greed overspending we're going to clarify each and every single one of these all right but the queen of wands here you could be dealing with somebody who's with you for money or vice versa okay so somebody who's here for interest okay what's in the foundation in the foundation you have the three of wands so you have foresight here this is you waiting on your ships to come in okay you could be waiting on your ships to come in but you have uh, five of Pentacles. All right. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. Again, you're going through some sort of financial hardship or you see that coming. Okay. So if you leave this person, you might see this coming. So for some of you, you're staying in a relationship because of that. All right. For some of you, this is also being left out in the cold. Okay. So some of you, this person could have left you out in the cold. Okay. In the past, this is coming out in the foundation. All right. The three of wands is also entrepreneurship. So you guys could be like working on something. Okay. Um, it also talks about traveling. You guys could be looking at land, okay, to like purchase land. All right, that's why your finances, you could be like saving up your finances or something like that because of that. All right, but I feel like good things are coming with the three of wands and the five of wands. I feel, I mean, the five of, um, Pentacles, I feel like for some reason you guys are going to start regaining everything that you've lost, all right, in the past. But before that happens, you need to leave something behind or you need to make a sacrifice. Okay, so that's for someone. What's in the recent past for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? In the recent past, you have the Hierophant. So maybe a relationship didn't come through Taurus energy. All right, so going against conformity, rebel, breaking the rules. For some of you guys decided to do like an open relationship or something like that that didn't work. Okay, that also talks about nonconformity, unconventional. So if the hair font comes out in the upright, that could be like a person who's into like traditional beliefs, right? Like I want to get married, the white picket fence and stuff like that, but I see it in the reverse. So something about an institution could be significant too, right? Somebody could be a teacher, professor of some sort, okay? Used to be young is on the radio, Okay, by Miley Cyrus. So you used to be young. So for some of you, you're getting back to your like, your young days or, or you're getting back to like your old roots or something like that. That could be significant. All right, what's on your mind? What is on your mind? What is on your subconscious? All right, you got the nine of cups. Okay, it came out on the upright. You're wanting, this is like your wishes, your wishes being fulfilled, okay? Your desires will come true, okay? Whatever it is that you've been wishing for, that also talks about some sort of attainment of happiness, all right? That always reminds me of like trophies, all right? It also reminds me of like being happy because you got all these trophies. So some sort of accolade, okay, could be significant or you got some sort of trophy or some sort of uh, achievement uh, of some sort. Maybe you passed this semester or something along those lines, Okay, that could be significant, all right? The Nine of Cups also talks about getting having your cake and eat it too. So you guys could be sitting in your throne just kind of like getting everything that you want and deserve. All right, so what's in the near future? What's in the near future for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and North Node? All right, the Empress in the reverse, all right? 
So in the near future, you have a, a couple of insecurities, all right? This is because you could be dealing with somebody who makes you feel inferior, okay? So neglects of one's own needs. So you guys have to worry more about you. You need to pamper yourself. You need to kind of like work on go to the spa or whatever. If you guys are dealing in a, uh, with a relationship where you're being hurt or domestic issues and stuff like that, this is this person is not for you get out of that as soon as possible okay because the empress in the reverse does talk about domestic problems okay so there's some sort of tension all right for some of you what i'm feeling here is that you need to take care of you a little bit more okay you could be dealing with a taurus or a libra with the empress in the reverse okay for some of you you're walking away from a baby mama or a baby daddy okay if you have children with this person all right what's hidden you have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Not a happy home. Conflicts, unhappiness. Okay, it could be with family. It could be with a mother. With your mother could be significant. All right, so problem, sorrow, instability, and arguments. All right, for some of you, you have a mother figure that... Or your mother, period, could be giving you some sort of advice. However, if she's jaded, if she's... um. She doesn't take care of herself. If, he, if she is insecure, her advice is not going to work for you. Okay, so that's for someone. All right, so it's causing more instabilities in your life. Okay, so that's... The death card. That's your energy. You need to put an end to that shit. Okay. What is in your environment? What's going on around you? This could be a work. This could be in your car. If that's where you spend most of your time in. Hey, this could be your home, in your environment. This could be at work. All right, so eight of pentacles. You're working on something. All right, you're focused diligently on something. You are mastering some sort of craft. For some some of you could be like instrument. Um, you guys could be like um, musicians or something like that. You're very skillful at something. All right, so this also talks about a new career path. All right, for some of you with the eight of pentacles yeah you're mastering something you're skillfully working on something some of you could work from home all right some of you are working like on your own thing all right but you're kind of like blocked right now with the empress in the near future showing up you're blocked because it's in the reverse okay so you need to kind of like give yourself a little bit more 22 44 on the timer as i said that all right you need to give yourself a little bit more focus more on you Okay, you could be seeing a lot of synchronicities and numbers. Okay, what is in your hopes and fears? In your hopes and fears, you have the moon, Cancerian energy, something hidden comes to light. Okay, this is talking about things that are not what they seem to be. For some of you, you guys are in a relationship, but it's not what it seems to be. It's like a facade, all right, that I'm picking up here with hopes and fears all right your fears could be that there's some sort of illusion okay there's some sort of you're kind of like either you're deceptive or they could be deceptive there's some sort of deception here with the moon or some sort of lies so you could be telling lies to yourself All right, you guys need to stop dismissing intuitive downloads, okay? Some of you could be very intuitive and you're dismissing intuitive downloads and it's almost like the universe is answering you. The universe, if you have been questioning or praying or something like that, <coughs> the universe is answering you, All right? The outcome is seven of swords, okay? So that's Aquarius energy, deception and lies, cheating, theft, manipulation, deceit, and sneaking, okay? So... If you guys are finding yourself in that kind of energy, all right, where you have to be deceitful, where you have to be cheating and stuff like that, and you're not happy, then let something go. So that what's meant for you really does come in. Okay, so that could be significant. All right, let's go ahead and clarify that Queen of Wands in the current energy. Who's this in the Queen of Wands? Aries Leo Sag. That's you guys. Scorpio energy, the death card. Okay, you're transforming. All right, for some of you, if you guys were like um, very faithful and very 150% and shit like that, you're changing your ways. Okay, you're kind of like in the Queen of Wands energy. All right, end of an old, end of the old and a start of a new beginning with a death. Okay, this is something that's necessary. All right, um, 
there's an ending that's happening and the new beginning is starting. So what's the death card with the Queen of Wands? All right, Ten of Pentacles. So this is family. All right, Ten of Pentacles is building legacy wealth. All right, hard work will be re rewarded. Some of you guys are like building something, building a legacy wealth or something like that. Okay, so success, financial gain, community. You could be working with a community here. Ten of Pentacles does talk about community. For some of you, you could be with a person that spreads their wand around or their whop around in the community, okay? So you're going through some sort of transformation. You're finding out something, okay? And you're putting an end to something. All right, what's this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? What's this Ace? Two cards fell off, all right? So Strength card. Your blockages, when it comes to your money and your income, your blockage is yourself, your self-doubt, okay? You guys need to move on from past regrets, whatever it is that you've gone through in the past, you need to move on from it, okay? You need to heal, you need to grow, and sometimes you need to do that by yourself, all right? With the strength card in the reverse, the strength card is talking about insecurities, okay? It's talking about low self-esteem, all right? So your blockages with that Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, your money flow, your blockages is after you you become more confident, okay? When you realize that your vulnerability is not a weakness, you just express yourself completely. For some of you, you could express yourself like by writing, okay, or by journaling or by um, singing or by slam poetry. I just heard slam poetry for some of you, so that could be significant, All right? So what is this three of wands with the five of pentacles in the foundation? Right, the Knight of Pentacles. There's something that's coming in for you, but it's taking too long. So you guys are in a point where you're like, okay, I'm giving up on something. Could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, could be a person. All right, Aries, Leo, Sag could be significant. All right, but this is like you working towards your goal. That's you kind of like being, having a goal and committing to it. Okay, so it does talk about you learning your long-term goals, but you're taking way too long. With the Knight of Pentacles, all right, that could be a person who's very OCD, all right? So let's say, for example, you're a painter, okay? I always use this example, so people have probably heard it before. But if you're a painter, the Knight of Pentacles is a person who wants to make sure that the lines are perfect, right? They're painting everything perfect, and everything has to come out especially um, precise and especially conform to your liking, okay? Because of that, you're a perfectionist, but it takes you a long time to do things, okay? So there's something that's coming in for you, all right? But it's taking a long time. This horse is not moving. This horse's legs are down. Usually in the tarot, the horse's legs are all moving, all right? So something is taking a while and you're kind of like giving up, all right? So something that you left out in the cold, all right? What is this spirit with the Knight of Pentacles? And the five of pentacles, nine of pentacles in the upright. Okay, so you're self-made for some of you. All right, you're going to be, you're going to be, everything that you've lost, you're going to start regaining it. Okay, for some of you, you need to be alone in order to get that. There's a single person here and she's self-made. All right, she got there by herself. All right, that's you having the freedom to choose. That's you having the freedom to leave something behind and choose where it need, where you need to go. Okay, where it is that, there's going to be financial um, gains, okay? It could be you leaving a job as well, all right? For some of you, you guys are models. Nine of, Nine of Pentacles is like Virgo energy, like model energy. You guys could be dealing with a Virgo, okay? But you guys could be taking a lot of selfies or something like that. That could be significant. What's this Hierophant in the recent past? The Hierophant with the Six of Wands. So this could be like a group of people that went against you. All right. For some of you, you guys could be like high priestess, high pre um, Hierophants, like religious or spiritual. Okay. And that's you in the public eye with the Six of Wands. You're going against um, tradition. You're, you, you might do something taboo for work or something like that. All right, but you're going to be victorious, whatever this is. For some of you, 
you guys are going online or doing something in the public eye, all right, you guys might use your voice for something. It could be a motivational speaker, it could be a singer, it could be something along those lines, all right. Uh, Six of Wands, that's Leo energy, all right. So Leo has to do with the strength. So you need to have confidence. Be more confident, all right. What you guys have to bring to the table is special, all right. So what is this nine of cups on your mind? So this is on your subconscious. You guys are thinking about something. Okay, your wish fulfillment, all right? Having your cake, you need it too, letting go of all this confusion. All right, for some of you, you're avoiding some sort of reality. If something is not meant for you, you're still holding on because you feel like, eh, it's better, it's cheaper to keep her or something like that. It's cheaper to, to stay. You know, I've invested seven years, so why would I go now? Okay, but... superficiality too with the seven of cups in the reverse okay for some of you um be careful of scams or being scammed scorpio energy the tower showing up all right with the lovers this could be a relationship okay that could be even scamming you at this time all right, for some of you, look, the tower wanted to come out again. This is your energy, all right? You're in denial about something. There's a lot of confusion. You're in denial about something. All right, anyway, the Empress. In the reverse, in the near future, what is this? With the seven of pentacles yeah you're starting to see the fruits of your labor but you need to you're insecure right now you feel like whatever it is that you gave birth to is not going to be a good finance uh financial investment or something like that all right so you could be kind of like giving birth to a new business or something like that but you are in the reverse so you're self-doubting for some of you it's because you're a perfectionist so you keep going back trying to like fix something okay so that you can make things like you're patiently uh, manifesting your hard work <clears throat> to come into fruition but the missing ingredient is confidence okay so that's for some of you and patience all right the queen of swords some of you could be saying this okay you guys could be saying some sort of like truth or something like that all right, the Queen of Swords is very uh, logical, so you guys are thinking more with your head than with your heart. Okay, so sometimes that's the way you have to be. All right, what is this Ten of Cups in the reverse under Hidden? All right, so that talks about an unhappy home. All right, yeah, you're bored, stagnant. All right, Four of Cups. You feel like you've had a missed opportunity, though, with someone. Okay, so you lost focus or in this relationship or something like that. That could be significant. All right, or in this family dynamic, somebody is definitely bored. They need some sort of like um, a hobby or something to keep their mind busy, a challenge. All right, for some of you, it's almost like this wasn't a challenge anymore, so you got over it. I'm bored. Next. 42 is playing. All right, so 42 could be significant. The number 42. 4 2 April 2nd could be significant. That could be an Aries you could be dealing with. What is the Eight of Pentacles, Spirit, in your environment? You got the Ten of Wands. Okay, so for some of you, with the Ten of Wands, you're very burdened, overworked, overwhelmed. All right. Um, there's a lot of responsibilities that fall on you and it could be at work so for some of you you bring work home and home to work you guys have to kind of like leave that behind okay so stress all right so if you're stressed out at home it affects you at work if you are stressed out at work it affects you at home so there's a need for you to balance all right so the number 10 is five and five okay this is a balance all right so there needs to be some sort of balance here all right, there's an ending that needs to happen in order for you to have a new beginning. All right, you don't see through all these burdens right now, but they're going to go away. This is the 10. This is the end of a cycle. All right, but if you can, if you continue carrying wands, you're going to break your back. Okay, so that's like to the point where you need to let go of whatever is burdensome and work on your own thing. 
All right, so what's the moon? What is this moon under hopes and fears? All right, so the moon with the three of cups. All right, for some of you here, there's a lot of deception. Okay, for some of you, this has to do with the reconciliation of some sort. Okay, what's the three of cups with the moon? The emperor. Aries energy, baby daddy energy. All right, powerful figure, leadership. That talks about authority. All right, so I'm just picking up. Somebody was in a third party situation. Focus, stability. All right, you need to focus on what you need, on what you got going on. For some of you, you're definitely wanting to reconcile with a baby daddy, but the moon is there. So there's a lot of deceit and there's a lot of um, lies, okay, a lot of deception, but you're going to have to let that go. You cannot bring these burdens into a reconciliation. You know what I mean? Because if you still have burdens, if you still have um, burdens and you're trying to reconcile with somebody, you don't trust them fully, this is not going to work. You're going to sit on that. Yeah, you're going to be unhappy. So what's the moon? I mean, what's the seven of swords in your outcome? Seven of swords with a page of swords. Somebody could be watching whatever it is that you got going on to steal your ideas. All right. So this also talks about cheating. All right. Somebody who's a liar, a thief, somebody who is very manipulative. And with the page of swords, they could be very immature as well. Okay. Um, there could be... You guys could be having like head fog, all right, or mental stagnation or something like that. Page of Swords in the reverse talks about bad communication. So for some of you, this person communicates with you incorrect. Like they don't, I'm not saying that there's a correct way to communicate. Yeah, there is. Come correct. Okay, so that's the energy that I'm picking up. All right, so Seven of Swords with that one sword of the page. Okay, that would be the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords talks about you being trapped. Okay, so you need to come out of this feeling trapped, all right, in a situation. With the Eight of Swords, some of you could be in, like, you feel like you're in a mental prison or in a spiritual jail of some sort, all right? Or that could be this person that's going into jail or in a spiritual jail of some sort or something like that for trying to steal from you, for being very deceptive, okay? Let me pick that up. Queen of Cups. All right, so you know who you want to give your love to. All right, some of you could be psychic. You already know this shit. For some of you, you guys could be like spying on this person, but you already know they're cheating. All right. Um, for some of you, you could be dealing with a mother figure. What's this Queen of Cups? With the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Somebody's giving somebody bad, bad, bad advice. Okay, that's for someone. Um, but you're in a period of bad luck right now, or you feel that way. It's because of this cycle. This cycle needs to end. For some of you, you didn't get closure. So that's the reason why you keep on giving this another chance and another chance, but it's time for you to let go. Okay. That's for some of you. For some of you, you could be dealing with a mother that's a little money, money hungry or needs your help financially and emotionally. It could be very codependent. All right. So you guys are trying to get away from people that are codependent and that's all that kind of like gets close to you. All right, somebody could be getting some sort of bad karma with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. What's this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse? Knight of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's this Knight of Cups? For some of you, somebody sparked your interest, okay, with this Knight of Cups. And you're realizing that you can't give that full cup of love because you have the Wheel of Fortune right in the middle. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse because you're still stuck in a cycle that needs to close. All right, that's for some of you. Yeah, the Tower. Scorpio. Energy. Chaos brought by sudden change, destruction, loss, pain. The Tower is two people right here. They're jumping out of the Tower. Okay, they don't want to extinguish this fire that has been built. All right, by lightning, by fights, by chaos. Okay, so they took an easy way out. However, whenever they hit that floor, they're not going to have an easy way out. Splat. So at the end of the day, there's a lot of confusion there. Okay, this, um, the tower is set on a faulty foundation, so it needs to crumble down. It needs to come down, and you guys need to rebuild. 
okay, um, a steadier foundation. Because whatever foundation, whatever house you're in, it could be a place that you're in, it could be a job, it could be whatever it is, a relationship, whatever it is that you're in right now, there's a lot of chaos. There's a lot of instability. Okay, so you guys are trying to get out of that energy. So hold on one quick second. I'm going to pull some Oracle cards really quick, and then we're through with y'all's reading. Um, where is my Oracle deck? Guys, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, the comment, comment below. Okay, don't forget to subscribe though, that's the most important. Right, I am new to YouTube, so I'm starting to grow my, my YouTube channel, so it's important for me. All right, so this is for all of us. So you got your root chakra. This is talking about survival, stability, all right? Again, the same energy, all right? If you're in a relationship, um, it's for security reasons, for safety reasons. You feel safe. I am grounded, stable, and secure, okay? When people cannot control you, they control the way others see you. So somebody was definitely trying to control whatever you got going on. They've been dirt digging, okay, drama starting, stalking you, cyberbullying you, okay, and now they, not, they can't control you anymore. So they're controlling the way other people see you by slandering your name, by talking shit about you, whatever the case may be. It doesn't matter. Whatever they say, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you are you. You're unique in your own way. You're here for a purpose. You are here to do whatever it is. Take pride in whatever the fuck you're building. All right, that's for some of you. Nothing will ever be what it once was. Okay, so if you guys are reconciling or going back to someone from your past, nothing will ever be what it once was. All right, so you have 666, gratitude. All right, for some of you, it came out on the reverse. So you guys have to practice some gratitude. Be in a state of gratitude. Um, recognize the true motives behind the people's actions that you're, de you're dealing with. All right, be aware of your thoughts and bring them into balance. Let go of worries or concerns and surrender some of you could be seeing the number 666 right it says here some manipulation you've experienced is slowly losing its grip on you and you're letting go of codependent attachments so good for you right so 